Thank you to Setapp for sponsoring this video. Setapp is an amazing service for Mac users and provides access to hundreds of high quality applications with no ads or in-app purchases. If a major update of your app comes along, Setapp upgrades it automatically for no extra charge. Go to the link in the description and start your seven day free trial today. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be addressing one of the most requested topics that I get across all of social media. And that is how do I get my Instagram videos to look so good? In all seriousness, I've heard from a lot of you that you struggle with Instagram's compression and you don't understand why once you upload a video, it loses so much quality. So it all starts with your project or sequence settings. Personally, I upscale all of my footage to a 4K timeline. And even if I'm shooting everything in 1080p and I don't even have 4K footage, I will still conform all of my clips to that 4K project. But when we are editing videos, we often have these habits or things that we tend to do that can decrease the quality of a video and you don't even know it. So let's say you've heavily manipulated your footage by adding an intense color grade. It may look fine on your computer monitor or your laptop display, but once you export that video and it goes through Instagram's compression and it's on a tiny little smartphone screen, the results may actually be completely different. If you introduce too much contrast to your shot and really crush those blacks, all of that information that was in those dark areas of your shot is now lost, especially after it goes through Instagram's compression. To fix this, all you have to do is make a color wheels adjustment that affects your footage before the rest of your grade and simply lift up the exposure in your shadows. This will bring back some of that detail that was in the dark areas of your shot and you would not believe the difference this actually makes when creating videos for Instagram. Now on to exporting and this is very straightforward. I simply export my video in 4k as H.264 directly to my hard drive but now it is the next step where I think a lot of people tend to go wrong and that is getting the video from your computer and onto your phone. If you are using a Mac and an iPhone like me, you have the luxury of airdropping the file directly to your phone, which is fast and does not compress or reduce the quality of the video. If you're on an iPhone but not using a Mac computer, go ahead and download an app called VLC to your iPhone and enable sharing via Wi-Fi. Type the local URL into your computer's web browser and drag and drop your video into the web page, and it will automatically show up on your phone in the VLC app. And from here, you can simply save it to your camera roll. If your mobile device is an Android and you're using a Windows PC, you can simply use a USB cable to transfer the files to your phone. And lastly, if your device is an Android but you're using a Mac computer, I recommend Dropbox or WeTransfer. Try not to text or email the file to yourself because this can compress the video and reduce its quality. And I've also heard mixed reviews about Google Drive and how well the quality holds up in there, so just be aware of that as well. But once the video is on your mobile device, all there is left to do is upload it to Instagram the same way you always would and let the likes and the comments roll in. There are plenty of ways to go about creating Instagram videos and this is just my method that works for me, but really all that matters is what works for you and gets you the results that you're looking for. But if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, then make sure you hit it with a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And thanks again to Setapp for sponsoring this video. Be sure to head to that link down below and start your seven day free trial today. And as always, thank you so much for watching. My name is Daniel. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.